गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन लेट्स कंटिन्यू द लेसन लेसन फोर एनिमल्स आवर फ्रेंड्स बिफोर कंटिन्यू द लेसन चिल्ड्रन लेट्स वंस अगेन वी रिवाइज द लेसन दैट वी हैव स्टडीड इन आवर लास्ट क्लास एनिमल्स दैट लिव्स इन द जंगल आर कॉल्ड वाइल्ड एनिमल्स एनिमल्स लाइक टाइगर चिमपैनजी Wolf, king cobra, elephant, baboon, ostrich, monkey, peacock, deer, kangaroo, and bear are called wild animals. Now, features of animals: dolphin and crow are very intelligent animals. Owls, bats, fox, tiger, and lion. are called nocturnal animals as they are active at night and sleeping during the day time horse and cheetah are very fast runner kangaroo are pouched animal the mother kangaroo rear the young one in her pouch and they mostly found in australia zebra are animals with black and white stripes on their coats and they resemble donkey except for the stripes on their body this zebra having the black and white stripes on her body sloth bears are very lazy creature as children they are sleeping 18 hours a day means there are 24 hours in a day and this sloth bear sleep 18 hours in a day that's why sloth bears are very lazy creature giraffe is the tallest animal in the world giraffe is the tallest animal in the world and it has a long stretch neck and it mostly found in africa the largest snake is the python the largest snake is the python and its length is about 10 meters its length is about 10 meter ostrich is a flightless bird why flightless bird children because it cannot fly as it has very heavy body ostrich can run very fast and it lays the largest egg in the world its egg is the largest egg in the world the whale is a fast swimmer the whale is a fast swimmer and blue whales is the largest animals on the earth the largest animal on the earth is what children it's blue whales blue whales camel are found in desert and it's also called the sheep of the desert the sheep of the desert it is used in transportation purpose in desert and camel store extra fat on their hum so they can survive a long period of time without food and water without food and water cuckoo or quail are known for their melodious voice and they lay, lay their eggs in crow's nest this cuckoo is a very lazy bird and it does not build its nest it lay its eggs in crow's nest and the mother crow look after the baby parrot can imitate human voice parrot can imitate human voice peacock is our national bird children you all know na peacock 
is our national bird. Our national bird is peacock. And male peacock have brightly colored feather. Male peacock has brightly colored feather. And is the very beautiful bird. Dogs have an excellent sense of smell. Dogs have an excellent sense of smell. For this reason, these dogs are used in in by the police. And sniffer dogs especially used for tracking criminals by the police. Now children, let's discuss more about importance of animals. So today we will discuss this point, importance of animals animals it is given in your book page number 35 you can open and see animals are used for various purposes by human animals such as cows buffaloes god and sheep are domesticated animals for their domesticated, for their useful products. They give us milk, cow and buffaloes, and wool, goat and sheep. Children, as you know, plants are our green friends, as well as animals are also our friends. And they are useful for nature. They are useful for nature. So, we should take care of them also. Animals provide us food, wool and leather. This much we have already known in our previous lesson. So, animals such as cows and buffaloes, they give us milk. They give us milk. And the cattle dung is used for fuel and manure. And the dung of cattle, the dung of cattle used as fuel and manure. And this manure, the cow, the cow manure, the uh, is very useful for plants. And we get wool from goats and sheep we get wool from goats and sheep see children here the picture are given cow buffalo god and sheep some animals are used for labor they are known as beast of burden donkeys oxen bullock Camel, mules, and elephant help us in carrying loads. Help us in carrying loads. Donkey, oxen, bullock, camel, mules, and elephants. These animals are known as beast of burden. You know, children, why they are called beast of burden? Because they are carrying loads. Because they are carrying loads. This uh, camel in desert area is used for transpiration. That's why camel is known as the sheep of the desert. See children, here also in picture, camel cart is sewing and how the elephants carrying heavy logs so, for this reason, as they are carrying load, these animals, donkey, oxen, bullocks, camels, mules and elephants are known as beast of burden. Beast of burden. The skin of animals such as crocodiles, Cows, camels, buffaloes, and snakes used for making leather, bags, shoes, and belts. 
children we are using leather bags shoes and belts na these all things are made from animals snake animals snakes like crocodile cows camel buffalo and snakes their snake and their skins are used for making bags shoes and belts hair of sheep see here hair of sheep and rabbit is used to make woolen shawl sweaters and blanket hair of sheep and rabbit rabbit hairs you see na how beautiful hairs and sheep hairs also used to make woolen shawl sweater and blanket that we are using in winter season children that all the woolen things are made from sheep and rabbit hairs and we are all this clothes we are using in winter season so these are also we are getting from animals some animal products are used to make medicine and vaccine some animals products are also used to make medicines also and vaccine children you know what is called vaccine what is called vaccine some children uh, some a vaccine helps the body's immune system to recognize and fight viruses or bacteria which then keeps us safe from the disease they causes a vaccine helps the body's immune system to recognize and find viruses or bacteria which then keeps us safe from the diseases they causes vaccine protects against vaccines protects us against more than 25 life threatening diseases 25 life threatening diseases including measles including measles polio influenza and many more so children animals products are also used to make medicines and vaccine now see some fun to learn snakes do not have external ears snake do not have external ears they can only feel the vibration of the music of the snake charming charmer through the ground snake do not have external ears so they cannot hear the sound but they can feel the vibration through that vibration they are moving okay children this is the very interesting thing now come to the canvas section now the some questions are given let's see what the question and try to give the answer name two animals that gives us leather name two animals that gives us leather can you give me the answer crocodiles cows camels buffalo snake this from this animal we are getting the skin and from their snake uh, skin we can make bag shoes and bag female peacock has colorful feather question number 2 female peacock have colorful feathers true or false children try to give the answer yourself 
Okay. Find the answer. Female peacock has colorful feather. This is the true. Question number three. Which animals are called beast of burden? Which animals are called beast of burden? Donkey, oxen, bullocks, camels, mules and animals and elephants. These animals are called beasts of burden. These animals are called beast of burden. Where does a cuckoo question number four? Where does a cuckoo lay its eggs? Answer is a cuckoo lays its eggs in crow's nest. A cuckoo lay its eggs in cuckoo in crow's nest. So children here we have we completed the lesson lesson four canvas section also so let's see from this lesson what we have learned the summary of this lesson is animals are is divided into two two categories domestic around us and jungles wild animals the animals around us are domestic animals and the animals are in jungle are wild animals and these animals provide us food wool leather honey and also they are used in transpiration and also they are used in transpiration so children here we are completing the lesson for animals our friend so hope you children you all understand in our next class we will discuss the book exercise and question answer okay children thank you